Hello, today we are going to study about oxidation and reduction. Our class will cover these following topics oxidation, reduction, oxidizing and reducing agents, your examples, and various questions. So, let's first talk about oxidation. As the name suggests, oxidation is addition of oxygen or any electronegative element to a substance. If we are saying addition of oxygen, oxygen is electronegative. It means ki any species which is electronegative and its addition to a substance will result into oxidation. So we should not confine ourselves that oxidation is simply the addition of oxygen. No, it is the addition of any electronegative element. Similarly, we want to define it in terms of electropositive element, then removal of, removal of any electropositive element. And if we talk about electropositive element, then hydrogen is the best example. So, removal of hydrogen from a substance results into oxidation or removal of any electropositive element from a substance results into oxidation so my dear students please get this a clear idea that it is not just addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen it is the addition of oxygen or electronegative element to a substance or it is the removal of hydrogen or removal of any electropositive element from a substance okay then if we want to define loss of electron, it is oxidation. When we are saying that loss of electron is here, then we call it as oxidation is after. So we have learned both the ways. As it is accompanied with the loss of electron, we sometimes call it as de-electronation. The most famous example is resting of iron. Resting of iron is the oxidation process. Then we will go to some other example like oxidation of bananas, apples, rusting. So these are some other example in equation number one in the chemical reaction between magnesium and oxygen. What is happening? Oxygen is getting added up to the magnesium. So we are saying that magnesium is getting oxidized. Magnesium is oxidation is happening in this reaction. Then in the second reaction, what is happening? Oxidation is happening. Sulfur is getting sulfur oxidation is happening and removal of electropositive element is occurring. And similarly in the third example we are saying magnesium and chlorine, the reaction between these two, the chlorine is getting added up to the magnesium. It means any electronegative element is getting added up. So, the magnesium is undergoing oxidation. Next, moving on to the reduction. Simil on the similar tone as we define the oxidation process, we can say that removal of oxygen or any electronegative element from a substance results in reduction. Similarly, addition of hydrogen or any electropositive element to a substance results in reduction. And, and if we want to define in terms of gains of electron, as we define in the oxidation, it is a loss of electron. If we want to define gain in terms of electron, then gain of electron is the reduction. And of course, gain of, gain of electron always results from the decrease in oxidation number. And as this is the process where electrons are getting added up, we will call it as electronation. Next, moving on to reduction examples. As you see in the first example, the mercuric oxide, the oxygen is getting removed from mercuric oxide. So we are saying removal of electronegative element. So this is reduction happening. Similarly, from ferric chloride, removal of any electronegative element. So 
we did here are CL3 and this is CL2. So again reduction example and this is hydrogenation of alkene. So the hydrogen is getting added up means that the positive elements addition is halfway and so this is also an example of reduction. And from the daily life we see the examples and we can say the combustion where what happens? Combustion is also an example of redox reaction and in which reduction is happening of of so what happened that this this narcissistic material is a hydrocarbon and then it can combine into the uh, oxygen present in the atmosphere then oxygen gets reduced and that is how the combustion takes place this material get oxidized and the oxygen present in the atmosphere get reduced similarly the development of uh, developing film of so on the similar note we can define uh, from uh, the photographic film developing film so what happened in that that uh, the silver ion present in the activated silver bromide get reduced to silver atoms. So it happens in the in developing the photographic films. Next is moving on to the cellular respiration where we consume so that gets converted into energy. And uh, in this process, what happens that CO2 get reduced and uh, the water get oxidized from oxygen. So these are the examples from everyday life of the redox reaction then moving on to the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent oxidizing agents are also called oxidants and reducing agents are also called reductants oxidizing agents they are electron acceptor okay while the reducing agent they are electron donor they reduce something they themselves get oxidized while oxidizing agent what happened they they are accepting electron they are oxidizing someone and they are getting reduced themselves let's look some example like the first sodium and chlorine reaction between these two what is happening that sodium is losing electron and sodium is losing electron so it is an electron donor it is it is acting as a reductant reducing agent while chlorine is accepting electron and it is acting as oxidizing agent or oxidant similarly in the second example sodium is again losing electron and acting as reductant while oxygen is gaining electron so in the second example again in the third example, sodium is again using electron to sulfur and sulfur is gaining electrons. So electron acceptor is sulfur. Sodium is electron donor. So it is acting as, in all the three cases, it is acting as oxidizing agent while the other equation is acting as reducing agents. So this is the summary. Uh, reducing agents are, these are electron donor okay compound a here is electron donor it is donating electron to compound b so compound b is getting reduced similarly compound b is gaining electron so we will call it as oxidizing agent it is accepting electron while compound a is undergoing oxidation because it is losing electron and the bound B is gaining electron, we will call it as reduction is happening. So this was the summary. So let's do some questions now. HNO2 acts both as reductant and oxidant, while HNO3 acts only as oxidant. It is due to the see HNO2 can act as both reductant and oxidant. How? If we will find out the oxidation number of nitrogen here, we will say that the oxidation number will come out to be, it will be 2 and this is 4 and this is plus 1. So it will be, it will be plus 3. 
so nitrogen being in low oxidation state it can go to so it it can expand nitrogen being in low oxidation state it can expand its oxidation state to both lower and higher oxidation number so therefore it can act both as reductive and oxidant or reducing agent and oxidizing agent while if we talk about nitric acid or HNO3 we will see that it is in plus 5 oxidation state it is already in its maximum uh, it has attained its maximum oxidation number so it can't go beyond this and therefore it can only accept electron now it is highly electron deficient how it can donate electron it cannot act as reducing agent so it act as oxidant here uh, so this is the uh, right answer next is when KMnO4 act as an oxidizing agent and ultimately form this so the number of electron transferred in each case see they are saying that KMnO4 is acting as oxidizing agent means it is accepting electron it is accepting electron and undergoing these species so what is the electron uh, transfer number of electrons you have to find out so what will you will do just simply find out the oxidation number in each case very easy question and these all three questions have been asked in previous examinations next one is identify the species being oxidized and reduced see this is chromium plus one and chromium is getting in a higher oxidation number so it is getting oxidized so chromium undergoing oxidation and tin 4 plus and this is 2 plus this is getting reduced it is accepting electron from chromium so this is the oxidizing agent and this is the reducing agent because it is donating its platform similarly mercury and iron here mercury so here mercury what is happening the iron is undergoing oxidation See, and mercury is undergoing reduction. It's an elemental state and is in the oxidation state. Similarly, the reaction between arsenic and chlorine. What is happening? That here the chlorine uh, is getting added up to arsenic. So in one way we can say that this is uh, here the arsenic is undergoing oxidation. Okay, it is and chlorine is getting produced. So these are the questions which you can do now based on the today's class and I hope that uh, the class is very much clear to you all. Thank you. Thank you.